Hi everyone, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News 4 Now for Thursday, March 28th. Police want you to see this video. They say these are alleged gang members hunting down an innocent man in East New York last week. Major gang bust announced today in the Bronx. Hundreds of officers and years of work leading to a takedown of some of New York's most dangerous and youngest gang members. Three different gangs involved, a crime spree involving dozens of shootings. Listen to this, an MS-13 gang member is under arrest this morning, accused of murdering a man on a New York City subway platform. Shot him right in the face a number of times, all caught on camera in broad daylight. The New York teenager stabbed to death by alleged gang members. city has seen a spike in murder. In Long Island, New, New York, York today, vowed. Major gang bust so, announced really today in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang members were murdered in the Bronx. Dozens of gang the definition of a gang is three or more individuals and their purpose is to engage in criminal activity to preserve their power. This is an important topic that should be talked about. Many people are dying because of gang violence and people are convinced that joining a gang is the way out. With this thought in mind, they're being controlled. Gay members are quite often responsible, accounting for 130 or 40 percent of the city's murder this year. It's not just a traditional beef or drugs or money. Crews are calling each other out. Some people believe that shooting someone is turning a boy into a man. 40 percent of shootings in New York is a part of teen gangs. Senseless, pointless, it's destroying the communities. It's destroying the minority communities, more or less. I learned that they don't bother me sometimes. Not that many gang in New York now, that I know. I used to live in the West Side, and the, the gang people told me, if you have any problem, don't do nothing. Don't tell us, and we take care of them. And I told my wife, are you crazy? I don't gonna tell them. <laughs> I, how I gonna feel if they go to kill, they kill somebody for my fault? No, I feel like they have a biased opinion on it. It's just, they treat like regular people, minorities, me, you, people that's black people, Latin people, people of lower uh, economic standards. They treat us all the same basically, but it's kind of worse because they're gang affiliated. So they put on a different whole type of plateau. When I grew up, you knew who the, uh, the, the the officer that was patrolling that area. You knew what cop was in that area. He knew your family. It's not like that anymore. So it's more of a military state. And you can't even say hi to a lot of police officers now. They won't even acknowledge you, you know, because they're in their world and we are in our world. That's a separate, there's some sort of separation there. So that's that's the problem, community. Sometimes I find that the police they be too harsh. I used to work with teenagers and seniors on the west side. And we used to we used to have uh, things to do for the teenagers. Sometimes if you keep the, the teenagers busy and doing what they like to do, they don't get in trouble. What I advise them is to be not to get into trouble because sometimes you when you're young don't think, but when you grow out then all, all, all that you did wrong or something that happened when you was young show, show out in you when you are old. And you don't need that to come up. You go for a job and you have been arrested or something, they, they look at you, at your records, and that work against you. So I, I, what I can say is that if you can avoid to get into trouble, don't do it. Stay out of trouble. Decrease gang violence. I guess it was starting in the homes. You gotta start in the homes first. I mean, what more can I say? If the household ain't right and the kids is out doing whatever because the parents ain't doing what they're supposed to do to raise the child right, you gotta start somewhere, so why not the homes? You know, at the end of the day, when you're in the streets and you're doing what you're doing, you really find out who your friends are. Those are not your friends. You might feel like that's a family. And once the crime is committed, there's no return from that. It's easy to get in trouble, but it's hard to get out of it. So the best thing is to do is keep yourself occupied, 
put your head in the books, try to educate yourself, and get yourself out of this vicious cycle. The only person that can determine what happens in your life is yourself.